All right, what we have here is just a quick video on how we like to finish the top of our cabinets and our crown molding. This is again from our Tedwood line. These are inset cabinets from Tedwood in an alabaster finish with a shaker door. Um, they've got a nice uh, horizontal style halfway up the door to kind of break it up. These are taller cabinets, just so you know, this is, these are nine and a half foot ceilings, so about 100 and, 112, 114 inch tall ceilings. So we went with a 54 inch upper cabinet. These are really tall upper cabinets, but they're very dramatic and uh, really, really high, have a high end feel when you see them in person. When we do our crown molding, we like to use cove molding, which is just that sort of that flared out look. It's a little more dramatic than a traditional crown and it's not as ornate, um, really a clean look. And what we do is you'll see at the top of the cabinet there, we apply a piece of flat stock molding, which is just one by six. Uh, and it can sit on top of the cabinet box or it can overlay the top of the cabinet box. And depending on what sort of a reveal you want, which is uh, the thickness of the layering that you have uh, going on on top of the cabinet. So we like to set our cabinets roughly six inches from the ceiling. And then that way the crown molding is typically about three to four inches tall. So once you are applying or this cove molding three to four inches tall, once you apply this flat stock here, um, it gives you some room to just basically set your cove molding nice and tight to the ceiling. And then once that's done, we caulk all of that in for a really clean look. And so it's a simple detail, but that's how we apply our crown molding and cove molding and, and get that layered look um, as we uh, butt everything tight to the ceiling.